Hi, I'm Magnus. I needed uh, somewhere to place my working clothes when I'm in the workshop and also somewhere to store accessories. This was actually an experiment to see if I could make a decent cabinet out of some thin sheet goods. For this wardrobe I used some 15mm plywood which corresponds to about 5 eighths in thickness. A sliding table saw really shows its benefits when it comes to cutting sheet goods. Just setting the stop locks to the right measurement and then cut with accuracy and repeatability. I cut the sides top and bottom as well as the doors to size and then lowered the blade to about half the thickness of the plywood. I then set my fence to 12mm or half inch to get the right spacing for the French cleat on the back. I want the cabinet to hang directly onto the wall and that meant I had to inset the back panel an equal amount. I then raised the blade for a through cut before cutting the bottom piece. When all the pieces were at the correct dimension, it was time to dummy proof everything. I marked all the pieces and made marks for where to place the dominoes. Of course you could also use another method like pocket holes for cutting rabbits and use glue and bread nails to assemble it. Then it was time for some practice with my LR32 system that I recently got. I started with setting up to make the holes for attaching the hinges to the cabinet sides. They are standard measurements for Euro style cup hinges and they should be placed 37mm from the front edge. I used two hinges for each door and installed them 160mm from the top and bottom. For this I just used the stop locks and counted the holes in the rail. This way I get accurate results every time. I was also going for an adjustable shelf for shoes and therefore I made two rows of holes in each side piece. I then switched to a 35mm drill bit in order to make the holes in the doors that will accept the cups of the cup inch. Then it was finally time for the glue up. I used four dominoes for each side to connect the sides to both the top and the bottom pieces. The top piece in the back is a part of the wall mount and has a 45 degree bevel on the bottom edge. The other strip is just for added stability because I'm going to use a 3mm hardboard backing. I then added a few clamps and let the glue set. The day after I removed the clamps and cleaned off some glue squeeze out. Then it was time for some sanding. I measured the width of the opening in the back and added the depth of each groove in the sides. Then it was easy to just set the stop block to that measurement and cut the hardboard for the backing. Because I used scraps for the backing, I ended up using two pieces which I just slided into place. I then attached them to the bottom with a couple of bread nails. I didn't have any handles for the doors, so I quickly looked among the scraps and found some leftover decking boards that would look nice as handles. I tilted the blade to 30 degrees and cut two strips, turning the piece around between the passes. Then I just ran them through the thickness planer a few times to clean up the faces. After the planing, I cut them to length using the same 30 degree bevel on the table saw. Then it was just some sanding to round over the edges. And of course, some protection. 
When I waited for the handles, I started to assemble the doors onto the cabinet, and I chose to do this with the carcass lying on its side. First I attached one part of the hinge to the cabinet side loosely and then fitted the door. Pre-drilling and some short screws attached the hinges to the doors. Before moving the cabinet in place, I removed the doors to make it easier to handle. In order to hang the wardrobe onto the wall, I had to clear out some space I was going to use for this. I then attached the wall brackets that make up the French cleat system. This was fairly easy and I used some plastic wall anchors and some screws. It was a bit of a challenge to get the cabinet in place because of its size and to get it up on the cleat on the wall. But then it was just to reattaching the doors. It also took some time to adjust them to fit properly, but this kind of hinges has a lot of adjustability. To make a clothes rail, I cut a piece of 25mm round stock, which is about an inch, and then some scrap plywood that I drilled a corresponding hole into. I used two more pieces of scraps to get the right distance from the top and attach it with glue and bread nails. These braces would also hold the top shelf. I attached some 5mm pins that makes the lower shelf adjustable. When the handles were dry enough to attach, I used a clamp to hold them in place while pre-drilling and added some screws. The cabinet has room for a lot of working clothes and it would be great if it could store some accessories as well, such as hearing protection, dust mask and other things. I started by adding some hooks to the side and then some holders for hearing protection. I also realized that the outside could give me some added storage and started to put together some simple shelves. I made the shelves and the brackets from 12mm plywood. Hello. And attached them with some pocket hole screws. Easy shelves I added a bucket like holder to hold my eye protection. And then yet another holder for more hearing protection. Thanks for watching!